Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to try out the new Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Foundation. You guys, I caved. This was one of these foundations. I was so excited for the launch and then I heard that there was alcohol as the fourth ingredient, so I decided to pass, but you know, I couldn't. <laughs> Um, I needed to try this out for myself, so I apologize for the delay um, of giving you guys a review on this because I was super excited about it. I am 51 years old and my skin is basically normal to dry. I would say more on the dry side, but I wanted to try this foundation out. I'd heard so many great reviews and although I was concerned about the alcohol in this foundation, I just needed to go ahead and test it out for my own um, to see how it worked on my own skin, even if this is going to be a foundation that I use just from time to time, not daily. So if you are interested in seeing how this foundation wears on more mature skin <laughs> and want to see how I got the rest of this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, let's put some makeup on this tired face. So yes, I caved. I ended up getting the Pat McGrath uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation and I got it in shade 9. They've given me a couple different ones to try and 9 seemed to be the best one that kind of brightened up my skin and um, I do have to tell you, eh. It, it has a fabulous finish to the skin. So gorgeous bottle, you guys. Nice glass, absolutely gorgeous. Packaging is fantastic. Now, I did not get the primer or the powder. I've heard mixed reviews on that. And again, um, this was just something I was really looking forward to the actual foundation. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's put this on my skin. We'll see what you guys think. I already put on my eyeballs for sake of time. Um, I'm wearing Pillow Talk, just kind of my easy go-to eye. And then I have a few other goodies that um, I picked up on the trip that we can try on, as well as a lippy that I'm in love with. Okay, so here we go. This is shade nine. I originally got a sample of 11 and it was just a little bit too peachy. Shade nine says it is light neutral with pink undertones. And you guys, this has a nice kind of serum watery effect or a watery texture. And you're gonna see this might look slightly lighter, but I feel like this oxidizes. So when I was wearing 11, it really kind of felt very peachy by the end of the day, um, too much a little bit. I'm going to take my It Cosmetics um, Heavenly Complexion brush and we're just going to kind of buff this into the skin. I'm going to see if you guys can see. This is one pump all over my face. It goes on like a dream. It's a very serum-y kind of foundation. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it just evens out the skin. So this is described as a natural finish. And I do have to tell you, it completely looks like skin by the end of the day. It literally just looks like you, your skin, but better. <laughs> Um, I like it because it does have a little bit of dew to it. It definitely has a tack to it. Um, I do not smell the alcohol. It does not contain fragrance and it just kind of evens out the skin. Now you guys, my neck is always a little bit more splotchy. Um, that's just sort of kind of the thing that I don't want to be matching it to my neck. So I'm going to just bring a little bit of this down. And again, I'm going to come up just a little bit for you guys and I want you to see this. I kind of like it. <laughs> Despite it having alcohol in it. So this could be 
one of those foundations that I don't use on the daily. Um, but I have to say, I don't know. I just think that it has a kind of really pretty natural skin-like texture and it is really beautiful as it kind of melts into the skin. Okay. Let's go ahead. I was going to add more, but I kind of feel like we should just leave it like this. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this Milk Flex Concealer. I was talking about this the other day, you guys, but this is actually a really great concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit underneath here. And I am just going to now kind of pat this in underneath my eyes. The Flex Concealer is a full coverage long wear concealer that bends with the skin to conceal dark circles, blemishes, and more. It's going to move with your face without cracking and flaking to conceal imperfections, combat dark circles, and minimize the appearance of lines and wrinkles. It is a hydrating formula that incorporates blue lotus to moisturize while chamomile to calm the skin. There's no parabens, phthalates, or sulfates. Uh, I do have to say it feels fantastic and very moisturizing under the eyes. I will let you know as far as creasing and such, but um, my daughter, her skin looks amazing with it. But again, she's 16. So um, if you have a young daughter and they're looking for a good concealer, this um, would be amazing. Um, it really does look fantastic on her. Now, the other thing that I was telling that I'm late to the game, you guys, but the milk bronzer this one is in baked and you guys oh it is so pretty i love how creamy this is so we're just going to use this today i'm going to just take a little bit of this at the top of my ear and then over here i'm going to kind of give my shadow on my big nose and a little bit up on the forehead. And then you guys, I'm feeling very porky <laughs> and bloated from my trip. I'm excited to get uh, back on track with my health and wellness goals. We had a fantastic time, but my eating's just been a little bit off and just kind of a little bit of stress going on. So I am seeing it in my skin and feeling it in my body. And I'm just going to buff this in. Do you see how easy and creamy this is? So I'm really loving the tone of this. And we'll go ahead, we're going to blend this down. You guys, it just gives a little shadow. And again, see that? It's just a really pretty um, bronzer. Again, so easy to use, creamy. And again, I like the little mini size because it's just perfect for that. And this is only $14. So pretty awesome. Okay. My favorite blush that I have been using is, I still love this, you guys, the NARS Orgasm in the Liquid. It is so pretty. I just use a little bit, just like this. This has just been my favorite kind of natural blush that I have been um, enjoying. I'm gonna give myself a little morning flush. I'm gonna take my IT Cosmetics and kind of buff this in. Now, the cool thing about those NARS little liquid blushes is that they melt into the skin, but they stay, okay? So sometimes with my cream products, they do kind of melt into the skin by the end of the day. Um, and I'm not someone who really touches up their makeup throughout the day. I just sort of put it on, wear it, and you know, if it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> um, but these little um, NARS blushes, they stay all day. I feel like I get a full wear with that. A little bit here. I'm just gonna do a dab up in my eyes. Okay, 
to set my makeup, you guys. I bought, before I left the La Beige, this is the um, Healthy Luminous Glow from Chanel, and this is in medium light. Now, I got a couple questions because I love the Tom Ford Illuminating Powder in Translucent. Now, that one is not super illuminating, whereas, whereas this one, I definitely feel like it gives me a little bit of glow. So I wanted to show you this in action um, and kind of see if you can see uh, this, the glowy action. What I like to do is I like to take my La Mer powder brush. I just kind of dip it in here, you guys, and I just kind of pounce it around. Now, this is fragranced. Um, and that the powders from Chanel sometimes irritate my skin. So this was one that um, Dri Dri does makeup. She was saying it's like an underrated product and how it makes your skin look like an angel. And, you know, I had been wanting a little Chanel powder that I could use because <laughs> I'm a matchy matchy kind of girl. Um, and but so far I have not found it to be upsetting to my skin, which is kind of a miracle. So I'm just going to set this just like that and see if you can see that it does give a little bit of an illumination. So you don't want to go super heavy with it. Let's see if I blended that out. You don't want to go super heavy with that. So I have been really enjoying, this is the powder that I took with me on my vacation and I've really been enjoying that and I do find it more illuminating, a little bit more glowy than the Tom Ford Illuminating Powder, which I absolutely love. There's no fragrance in, and I think it's fantastic for a more mature skin. So you guys, that would be kind of, if you want more glowy, I would definitely go with Chanel. If you want something that's great for mature skin, that's not gonna look, uh, that's not gonna be drying to your skin, then I would definitely check out that Tom Ford Illuminating, and I have it in the translucent one, not the pink one, the more yellow one. Okay, before I left, of course, I have to buy a little bit of a lippy to take on my trip. I do not know why, you guys. I tend to always buy a little new lipstick when I travel, <laughs> before I travel. And I am in love with the Chanel um, Duo Ultra Tenue uh, lipsticks. So I have one that's in Chic Rosewood. Absolutely love that color, but it can be a little bit deep. So I bought another one in Tender Beige, and this is pretty much what I wore throughout my whole entire trip. I love it. Basically, I like it because this is an, I don't normally like liquid lipsticks, okay? They're kind of drying, especially with older lips, not the best look, um, but this guy stays on all day. This guy stays on all day, even when you eat. It's pretty darn amazing stuff. This color is like right up my alley. It's like the perfect nude. And then you have the other side that is a lip gloss or kind of a sealer. So your lips do not feel uncomfortable at all. So I am in love with this, you guys. I haven't quite found any other shades that I like. The two that I really stand out for me are the Chic Rose Wood and then Tender Beige. Um, but I am kind of intrigued. I, I was looking at, there's a lot of pinky colors in there. If that's what you like, there's some really beautiful ones. I'm going to go ahead and I like to take this up just a little bit outside the line of my lips. And what you need to do is let this set for like a minute. Not too long, you guys, but you kind of want it to get a little bit of a stick on it. I was laughing because then when I got back, I was catching up on um, Michelle Wong's videos and then I laughed because she was loving this as well. And I was like, had to write her and go, oh my gosh, it's my like new favorite. <laughs> and you guys, I just think it is like the perfect nude. It has a little bit of depth to it. It's not too light for my lips. And then I'm almost there. Once it starts to dry down, then what you do is you take this little topper and you put that on top. And you guys, again, the gloss feels great on the lips. 
And essentially, if you want, you can apply, reapply your lip gloss all day long. Um, but what I like about this is it gives me this little kind of coating on top. Your lips look kind of hydrated and nice, but as you eat and stuff, you're still gonna have this other side left over. It's really fantastic, you guys. I cannot give a shout out to these um, little lip duos. Um, again, if you can find your right color, I think you're gonna love them. And it's just, I kind of feel like they're, un this is not one that people talk about a lot, but I have been in love with them. So really enjoying. Okay, you guys, so this is my final look for the day. I'm so excited because I'm gonna be getting my hair done tomorrow, which I desperately need. <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to check in in a little bit. I'm going to show you how this wears throughout the day. But as you can tell, you guys, I, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just sort of, it makes your skin look blurred. Um, it feels really light on the skin. Uh, so far, I've just been really liking it. It gives me some coverage, so I would say medium, and I haven't used a lot of it to build up. I assume that you can, but I felt like with one pump, I'm getting plenty of coverage that I would like and then using concealer just to touch up where I need it. So um, I'm kind of like in the Pat McGrath, I do have to say. So I'm gonna see how this wears and see how it feels today now that I'm back in the environment that I normally live in. I did feel like when I was wearing it and it was super humid, by the end of the day, I kind of felt like my skin, I don't know if I would say heavy, but just a little bit, um, it was kind of feeling a little bit icky by the end of the day, but that could just be travel. It could be humidity that I'm not used to. So I felt like I should do a couple more wear tests with this here in my own Pacific Northwest weather. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I am going to run off to Sephora because it is time for us to pick up some makeup and then I will be back and I'll do a little check-in. But Okay guys, here is the final little wear test. I've had it on for about six hours and I would say it looks pretty good, kind of like not exactly the way I first put it on. I am seeing a little bit of gathering through just kind of over here, but you guys, I'll be honest, that happens with a lot of my foundations. So I wouldn't say that this would be typical just for the Pat McGrath. Um, uh, I'm finding that it has like a nice little healthy dew going on, but I wouldn't say that it's overly greasy, but you guys let me know on camera. I am seeing in the viewfinder a little bit that it looks a little shiny through the T-zone. Um, some of that's from my lighting, but in person, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily the case. Um, and it just tends to look like second skin. So that's one thing I would say. Uh, this looks very natural. It does not look cakey on the skin and it does have a nice blurring um, effect, which of course I like. And as I get back into my regime, um, I'm just feeling like my skin isn't at its tip top right now from travel and off eating and stress and lack of sleep. So I'm gonna continue to test this one and I will let you guys know my final, final thoughts on it. But I hope this was helpful because the Sephora sale is going on and obviously that's gonna be a great time to pick up an expensive foundation on sale. So um, if you are interested, I'm in shade nine older, more mature skin. And again, I hope this was helpful. We'll keep you posted on that front, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys soon.